guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Sammy Jo, for those of you who don't know. And you may or may not know this, I don't talk about it a whole ton on my channel. It's also probably the first time I'm actually bringing it up. <laughs> a little fun fact about me is that I work as a freelancer in the sports production industry, mainly as a camera operator, but I do also run replay for a couple places too. And today I thought it'd be kind of fun to throw it back to old school YouTube with a little bit of a twist. I was gonna call it a what's my camera bag, but it's not like my photography camera bag. It's the bag that I bring to work when I run camera slash replay. So this is the bag in question. It's a pretty good size bag. It's from Vertex. Um, my boyfriend got this for me. It was intended to be my gym bag, but I have not yet gotten a gym membership. I've just got the gym in my apartment complex, so that's all good. I will look into a gym membership when I move out of here. But yeah, it's deep. It's deep. <laughs> and it's got a little front pocket here too. And yeah, let's go through what's in my bag. Okay, so I do have certain things that I pack for camera days and certain things for replay days but I do mostly pack as if I have no idea which one I'm working so that I'm prepared. So for starters, just for my lifestyle that I'm living and to also avoid any extra allergens, I pack my own food. So this is the lunch box that I bring. I think I just picked this bad boy up at Target. Yeah, sometimes I'll pack just a Tupperware if I'm not packing a whole ton, but if it's gonna be a longer day, it's got a lot of storage space in it. Came with some Tupperware in its own and that'll go right inside. Next, probably the most important since we're getting into the hotter weather, I pack a water bottle. You always gotta stay hydrated, whether it's hot or cold, whatever. And on the very hot days, especially during baseball season, I will sometimes pack a extra water bottle and fill that one up with ice. Since I live in Cincinnati, I have no idea whether it's going to rain or not. <laughs> so I do always pack a poncho or a raincoat just in case. I really need a new raincoat. This one has been through better days. Uh, so I'll probably get a reusable poncho or invest in some rain gear, some proper rain gear. But for now, for example purposes, this little raincoat will do. Speaking of all the hot seasons, I have some sunscreen that I put on before I go out to my camera. This is a little travel size one just because I'm trying this brand out for the first time. Otherwise I do have a bigger bottle or I'll even apply sunscreen at home before I even get to the ballpark or wherever I'm working. Sometimes there are rain delays. And if I know that's gonna be a fact, I'll either bring a book or my journal and just uh, do some mental health work. <laughs> These games can be quite long. I can also pack snacks in that giant lunch box too <laughs> if it's going to be an extra long day. Now for the colder seasons, I will still bring the sunscreen. You never know if the sun's gonna shine, but whether it's day or night and it's just really, really cold, like football season, any sport that you're outside for, and like even the beginning of baseball season, it gets quite chilly. I have hand and toe warmers. These have come in clutch. My first few football games, I was not this prepared. <laughs> and I learned my lesson the hard way. So please, if you're gonna be in this industry and you're gonna be outside a lot, invest in some hand warmers and toe warmers, especially the toe warmers. And to keep the hand warmers in said hands, a pair of gloves. I'll also bring a beanie uh, when it's cold out. And for those colder games, I actually prefer the um, cloth face masks over scarves anymore just because they don't get my hair into such a knotty bundle. This is only if I know for a fact I'm going to be inside running replay or any other control room position, but I will bring a sweater. Control rooms are kept freezing so that the equipment in there that's running overtime doesn't overheat, and that's absolutely good and okay, but I am a weenie and I can't stand being cold for more than five minutes, so I'll pack a sweater. I only don't pack them if I know I'm gonna be outside. And this is where my weird hippie shit comes in. During day games, hot summer games, I'm terrified of wasps. <laughs> and I wanted to, wanted to keep something around me to um, keep them at bay and also not spray pesticides around the fans around me. <laughs> so I keep this little spray bottle and it's full of peppermint oil. I heard that peppermint oil deters wasps and bus bugs and stuff, and actually since I use this, it's worked out pretty well. So I'll keep these um, secure in this little bag here that I got a long time ago from Victoria's Secret <laughs> and like a giveaway or something, or not a giveaway, like a, and like a buy one, get this for free. 
And I'll keep it wrapped up like this because I do use this bag to stay overnight with my boyfriend and I don't want to get his cat sick. I don't think cats can handle peppermint. It makes him sick. Now all of this doesn't go on the exact same days like, so, like I said and that is pretty much everything. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!